Welcome Sagittarius Capricorn to your chakra reading for July. Hope your friends are doing great out there. Welcome back all subscribers and anyone new to my channel. Welcome, welcome. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends. At this time, best chakra for you to worry about is the I can. So even though it's the end of the month, Spirit says this is a good time to start really channeling and really paying attention to what you can do and with intention, making sure that you're getting your intentions um, met and manifesting and knowing with a positive attitude that you can get things done. Okay, so having the inspiration coming out with the sacral chakra, this card is talking about doing things with inspiration. I can be inspired to get the things done that I need to get done and really bringing that inspiration out. Um, this card is talking about finding the time right now to get inspired, to find your passion and share it with the world. Inspiration is constantly flowing through you and around you at all times and is inviting you to align with and connect to its powerful and creative energy. So right now is the time to start getting this done. Okay. And the next card out is for fulfillment of wishes, talking about that beautiful heart chakra, the heart chakra coming out saying, this is what I'm passionate about. This is what I really want. This is my, where my compassion really is for myself and for the things that I want. And I can have these fulfillments coming in. Nice. And the divine says, you're ready to do this now. Take action because what something unexpected is coming in. Wow. So it might not even be exactly what you, you know, 100% have your intention to be. It could be so much more. Wow. So talking about the unexpected over here, this card is letting you know so much of the world mistakenly believes there is a lack of resources. Holding a syncrety belief can be quite painful and cause uncertainty and unnecessary. Oh my gosh, and unnecessary fear and desperation. An attitude of abundance recognizes there are always new chances, unexpected windfills, and opportunities are on the way. So no matter what happens right now, make sure that you have a positive mindset, believing that you are about to be abundant in whatever your intention is. Wow. So there it is, right underneath the what? Inspiration and next to the intention. So very beautiful. Okay, so getting in here. Something unexpected comes your way. Mm. Yeah, where you feel like you're just licking your wounds right now, just trying to get to your wishes fulfilled. Um, there's a beautiful transformation coming and a transition coming. So you're ready for this transition. You're ready for this transformation. And it's like you want the fulfillment of your wishes. And then there's like this beautiful something else coming in with it. And I feel like it's with it, like on top of it. So it's not exactly what you expect, but then it's like, boom, here it comes. Huh. Eight of Coins really inspecting and really getting inspired to see what it is that you really want. It's like you're really digging deep and looking at it from a full cycle, right? Really wanting it. Perceiving things that you want. I love that. It's not showing any kind of sorrow. Any kind of sorrow that you had before you've completely let go so that you could be inspired to this situation. Spirit says stay with that. Stay with that inspiration. Stay away from those sorrows um, and desperations, right? There's no reason to have any kind of desperations. And if it is a Capricorn you're looking for, just saying, right? Um, 
just be careful on the desperations of, you know, wanting this person, right? You don't really need desperations. Spirit will take care of it. Um, on the other hand, the desperations of just the prosperity, the materialistic itself, fulfilling that wish um, with a deeper emotion and nurturing the situation. Make sure you're really nurturing the situation, no matter what it is. The fulfillment of wishes is ooh, clarity and seeing the growth, seeing the progress come together. Resting easy, don't have any... Um, Anxieties, keep yourself away from anxieties. Just be able to take the clarity as it's coming. I see the clarity. Look, you're digging deep over here with the eight of with the eight of coins, right? So as you're digging, you're gonna gain more clarity about what it is you need to know and how you're gonna move and saying, I can do this. Um, just make sure that you keep yourself positive and tell yourself every time that I get a little down, every time that I'm feeling a little rejected, it's okay. Um, just say it's okay. Everything's going to be fine. And if there is some rejection to something that's going on, remember rejection is God's protection. Um, so maybe there's a whole different thing coming in and maybe that's what it, what the unexpected is. Wow. Maybe you're expecting one thing and then you feel like you're rejected to it, but you're being protected by that so that something else can come in that's better for you. No matter what, something else is better is coming in. The generosity of the universe. And keeping the generosity to yourself, the love, the generosity, keeping, and the generosity to yourself is keeping that positive um, outlook, keeping that positive vibration going. Moving up the ladder, there's a text message coming in as well. Some kind of message coming in. It could be a message coming in from a Taurus, or it could be this person too. However it is, you can be a Sagittarius. It's going to transform everything that you have, and this is where the unexpected is coming in. It's going to let you see different directions and how to move, keeping positivity alive and the possibilities surrounding you. There's a lot of possibilities going on over here. Clarify on the unexpected. Yeah, I see that. You're not going to be licking your wounds anymore. All of a sudden, you're going to have this huge generosity come in. The unexpected is the chariot coming in, taking you into a new direction, keeping you moving with the page of coins. I, guys are looking for this Capricorn, Taurus, or this Virgo. I see it coming in. Just got to say it. I just see a lot of support over here with the page of coins within this, and it could be that message. Where you thought there was no victory, all of a sudden they're coming in to support you. What? Yeah, there it is. That's the unexpected. Um, it could be a job. It could be anything. If you felt like this job was not going to hire you, you're now getting hired. Um, if they acted like they were cold shouldering you, they're no longer doing that. There's a lot of progress and movement with the Eight of Cups and success. So just keep saying, I can, I can do it for whatever it is that you guys are looking for. And there is something unexpected. It is so unexpected because I think what it is, it's like, I want my wishes fulfilled, but I'm just not sure if this is going to really work. And then the unexpected comes, but it's... So unexpected, right? When spirit talks about unexpected, it's like beyond. Now it's just kind of like went beyond, right? It's kind of like if I went to the casino and I played my 50 bucks and I just expect, you know, to get maybe my money back, you know, because I'm just going to go have fun, you know, or maybe, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, ooh, or maybe I win 10 bucks. Wow. So I, you know, I only really spent 40 and now I get my $10 back. But, you know, I had a good time. And it's cool because I was with my friends, right? But then all of a sudden the unexpected is, is that all of a sudden I hit, like, the jackpot. Now, I didn't expect that, right? Because I didn't go in there to really win a bunch of money. I just went in there to have a good time with my friends. And maybe earn the money back of it, you know, or some of it. I mean, literally, guys, that's how I 
go to the casino, right? I mean, this is what I do, right? It's like, okay, let's go to the casino. I'll bring my $50. You know, I pray to God I walk out with 20 bucks, right? Please just let me have my $20 back, right? That way I can have a good time and not feel like I walked out empty handed. But then all of a sudden, I don't get my $20 back. All of a sudden, I, you know, spin that thing or hit the button, whichever machine I'm playing. And then all of a sudden, it's like telling me I won, you know, $300 or maybe the jackpot. So however it is, even if I win $300, to me, that's winning the jackpot, right? Because I'm like, woo, take that money now, right? Because I'm only expecting to get me 20 bucks back. That's what's going on. That is exactly it. You're going to feel like you hit pretty much the jackpot. Um, because what you expected to fulfill your wishes is so much more. And it's because you worked so hard and kept your positivity and your inspiration going and going. And it's like you, you gave generosity, you know, what you feed the universe, you get back. So it feels like you were already so generous in the past. So that now you're going to, you know what I mean? You get it tenfold. So you're getting it back. So whatever it is that you were expecting is going to be so much better. Like, wow. What if I only unexpected again? Overall outcome. Let's just do it that way, right? Because it's just telling that anyways. The two of coins with the, is the inference. So there it is. The inference is total prosperity in, in her own way, right? This is all the materialism. This is more than you could ask for. That's more than the queen of coins. So if you're saying, I just wanted the queen of coins, you're not getting a queen of coins. You're getting an inference. Everybody knows that's way better. You know, it's like, I want to be a king, but if I could be an emperor, heck yeah. You know what I mean? Let's go. Um, you know, overall stability, overall prosperity. So, yeah. So that's really what it is. You're looking for a queen, you get an inference. That's it. So keep going strong, my friends. Okay, and then you get to just toss this around and say, what am I going to do? But see, you've seen this over here. You get to toss those ideas and say, oh my gosh. Look at what's going on now. Why? Because of the Eight of Cups as well. The moving, the succeeding. Wow. Very beautiful reading, my friends. Okay, and until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.